loves. I hope everybody's doing well. It is kind of a nice day today, even though I haven't been outside. I'm pretending the weather's warm because it's warm in my house. But I have a haul, I guess. It's a random haul of just some stuff I've purchased recently, and I figured why not do a haul because I just... I've been meaning to do one for the longest time and haven't. So I have stuff from eBay, I have stuff from Sephora, Kylie Cosmetics, Dollar Tree, very random. So first off, Kylie had a sale for 40% off. Anytime she has some type of sale, that's when I purchase things. I've only bought one thing from her that was full price and it was actually the palette that goes with this, the Nice palette. And I got that for Christmas, around Christmas time. And I actually like that palette. I don't regret buying it for full, full, full price. But I do have some of her highlights, blush, her cocoa palette, some of the lip products, birthday lip kit, things like that. Every single thing I got was about 40% off or more. So I always wait. So 24 hour sale. She had the Naughty palette. And this is what it looks like inside if you've never seen it, even though there are a thousand tens of thousands probably of videos but it's so different than anything like I typically would use the colors like I love this red color here and then this one is really pretty because it's kind of like a minty but I don't know I just wanted I wanted this because it's different and I it was half off and with both it was free shipping I'm like really weird I will not spend money on shipping but I like the colors. I haven't played with it yet and I can't wait to play with it. I wanted to buy the peach palette that she has, but all of the reviews says it smells so bad and that kind of turned me off even though I will probably buy it when it's on sale again. And then the Take Me On Vacation palette. And I don't have the boxes with these. I just threw them in the recycling. I was keeping boxes to like to haul stuff to show in hauls and it was getting to a point where I was having like boxes and bags of boxes empty boxes that I didn't need and then I wouldn't even haul half the stuff so it was just like a waste of space and I, I can't do that so I was just throwing out and if I haul it I haul it and that's kind of where this is went so this is this palette and I've swatched it I have not used it on my eyes yet but I love the colors they're so neutral a lot of them are similar like this one that one even that one they're like they're similar but they have a different tone definitely going to get some use out of it it's nice and natural it's a little bit bigger than this one as you can see but they're both good they'll both be good for not for major traveling but for light traveling they'd probably be good I don't know I haven't used them yet like I said but I do like the other one some of her shadows and a million people have said this and it is so true it's kind of strange her matte shadows are so good her shimmers you sometimes need like a fix plus spray on it but it's not the end of the world if you need fix plus or any type of spray by Zine water doesn't matter really okay I was on Instagram looking at you lovely lady and all of your lip balm obsessions that bring me lip balm obsessions and I saw this oh my god I am obsessed with labello I have been for years even before I started doing like videos on lip balms and watching lip balm videos and being overly crazy about lip balms I loved labello and this is, wait, Labello, wait, this is La Bellino, La Bellino, but it's by Labello. Yeah, see, Labello, I know I'm not crazy because they have, like, the little sticks, and I think it's the same brand as Nivea. I think. I could be completely wrong, but it's similar, but not like the ones we have in America. This stole my heart when I saw it, and it was so overpriced on eBay. I mean, I think this was, like, $13, and just admitting that out loud that I spent $13 makes me want to vomit, but... I didn't I actually I just told my better half like I really want this lip balm but I can't do it and he ended up buying it for me which was really sweet the bottom twist weird this is the cake pop one and it's so amazing like I love these lip balms the ingredients are really not like the best healthiest they're not the worst they're not the best they're probably don't want to look too much into them to be honest but I love this lip balm I love the way it looks the smells everything about it I'm so happy that I found it and I didn't care if I had to pay like get robbed on it it was coming like I can't get it here do you know what I'm saying let me stop Sephora I wanted to make a Sephora purchase only to use my hundred points on this little Laneige sleeping lip mask really wanted to try this I think it's twenty dollars for the full size and I didn't want to buy it if I don't like it like Sometimes I just, I spend $20 on a lip balm at Sephora and I don't like it. And that's really irritating because that's a lot of money. So it looks like that. I've tried it. It works pretty good. I don't know if I would actually repurchase the $20, like the full size after I use this. You could see actually the size of it. 
it's not bad there's a decent amount and it smells just like bubblegum so if you love the way bubblegum smells you would love this and it's just a lip sleeping mask by Laneige free with 100 points so what I bought because I didn't want to spend a lot I just bought the Tokyo milk lip balm and I have been dying to try these but they're always sold out especially this one this is the salted caramel green tea and jasmine lip balm that's a mouthful and yeah it was seven dollars and I get free shipping so I also got the pin set I don't know if you saw the pins from Sephora that they have and there's like four little pins they're really cute but I gave those to my daughter but I bought this this is strange it's very thick almost like thicker than a Vaseline a little sticky I don't hate it but I don't think I love it I just don't know again it's gonna take more time to like use it but it's I don't know the smell is neat it kind of smells like candy corn popcorn candied popcorn something like that <laughs> okay anyways this is to die for adorable I got this this is a little hand cream cream can I speak hand cream from Beauty and the Beast and it's a little rose and it's so cute it feels like it's like wood or something the container it's like plastic like a very hard plastic on the bottom and almost like a wood resin on the top oh my goodness I got this from what is it ASO a S O E or something like that it's a British a British website but they do sell stuff to America and it's free shipping if you spend I think $30 or something it's really not that much and this is the Disney Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose Hand Cream by Mad Beauty. So, Mad Beauty, they had like a larger one. It's all like, got lotion all over it. But they had a larger one that had like a little hand cream and like three little things inside it. But this was so cute. I don't know if they still have them available. They were on sale for a few dollars. I think this was like five dollars, maybe not even. Something around there. If you want to know the website, if I forget to link it, let, let me know, and I'll link it down below because it's pretty cool. They have neat things there, and like I said, free shipping if you spend 35 Another thing they had there I could not resist is Carmex. I, Carmex. You can get Carmex anywhere, but you can't get this Carmex anywhere. This is the Peach and Mango Burst, and this has absolutely no medicated scent or feel. So if you don't like Carmex because of that like medicated minty, minty type of feel, you know, eucalyptus type thing going on, this does not have it. It just... Oh, it smells so good, and it was, I think, $2 and some change, 2 to $3, something. It was under $4, because it could be $3 and change, I don't know. But I ordered it. I had ordered these two things, and I ordered the cutest pair of shoes. They were unicorn shoes. They had little, they were silver and had unicorns on them. They were so cute, but they did not fit me right, so I returned them. And it was easy schmeasy, like, sent them back. I got my refund. It was all good, and then I ended up not really having to pay shipping for these, so very happy I would recommend this Carmex I love it and then I found this at the drugstore what drugstore CVS CVS and I mean look at it it's a kitty cat I go crazy over it. meow meow anything meow meow I go crazy okay I know I've lost it but that's okay the Katy cat gloss leave it leave it to Katy Perry and her cover girl it's okay it's nice it's very light it doesn't really come up much color on this lips my lips are very pigmented though and this is a uh, cataloupe 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 I don't know that's the color but you see it it's pretty okay what else do we have here some Dollar Tree though well, first I ordered from Schmitz Schmitz I don't know they I know they just sold their company to like one of the bigger monopoly type of people but so I don't know how to feel about that but I still love this deodorant it's natural let me tell you about natural deodorant it's going to take if you are used to like a chemical deodorant it will take you a few months to get used to natural deodorant you might stink a little bit here and there just shower you'll be good nobody's gonna notice unless they're really close like you have to be I don't know let me just go on a lot of people just give up on the natural deodorants because they're like it doesn't work your body gets used to the chemicals in the chemical deodorant and it wants that it wants to use that it doesn't want natural deodorant I don't know it takes months and I've heard this from other people and I experienced it myself it took me months three four months for my body to get used to natural deodorants to where they worked they work a lot better than they ever did because I felt like they weren't working and I needed like secret or dove or something like that but those deodorants were really bothering me they were irritating my underarms they were making me itch the chemicals are no good even if they don't irritate you the chemicals are no good and to put them on your glands under your arms is even worse it's just really bad so this is a good deodorant it's natural works good smells good I have the lavender um, lavender sage that I have been using and it smells really good this one smells even better the rose vanilla I definitely get the rose smell but it mixes with the vanilla it smells really good together 
I like this. And I also just bought the bar of soap, the lavender, I mean, the rose and vanilla soap. And I like it. It smells very good, but I, I have to keep using it to, to really tell you. This I know I definitely like. The soap is okay. And then I also bought the vanilla chai toothpaste. And that is, it tastes so good. It tastes like cupcakes or something. I don't even know. It just tastes really good. And it works pretty good, but I, I still don't know. I am obsessed with my doTERRA toothpaste. Obsessed. It's a natural toothpaste. It's the best. Anyways, Dollar Tree, I got a bunch of these wipes. They are the Bolero, and they smell like apple cinnamon. I do not use these on my face. I just don't. The chemicals in them, I'm just not putting, I cannot put that on my face. I have issues with that. It just, like, freaks me out. No offense to anyone who uses them on their face. These are probably really good. I'm just very weird, but I love to use these on my hands, just as a hand wipe. They smell so good. I ended up buying the body oil, too, because it just smelled. I love apple cinnamon in the way that this smells. I don't know about this. Again, this is mineral oil, fragrance, apple extract, and cinnamon bark extract. I'm sure I'm sure that the extracts that they're using are crap. And mineral, I don't, I don't know, but it smells good, and I'll probably just use it, like, on my hands and my arms. And I also bought a hand cream. I got two of these. These are okay. I don't really like them. I should have just bought one and tried it. It's, like, a little bit. It's not totally watery. It does moisturize, but it doesn't moisturize my hands, like, the amount of moisturizing that I need and want, especially for the winter, but it does smell good. Like it, it smells like cinnamon with a tinge of apple. And I just, I really like that. It reminds me of a craft store and I love it. So I got all that crap. I bought a book. This is not from Dollar Tree. This was from Amazon and it's called Raise Your Vibration. This book is awesome. Definitely check it out if you're looking for something that's kind of like a short, short read. I mean short where you can read a little piece every day. You read the beginning, obviously, and then there's different vibes every every day. You could go through it and read a bunch a day, or I, what I do is I just read one a day. So, like, vibe two will be one day. Vibe three would be, like, another day. And they're just these little things that you read. Vibe four, see, they're short. And they're just different things to keep positive and to raise your vibration. Kind of, like, what they mean by raise your vibration is just raise your positivity in this world because it's all energy. And it's from Kyle Gray, and this is Kyle Gray, and he's like a medium, I guess, from England. I don't know too much about him. This is about trusting and developing your inner guidance, expressing yourself in a way that's filled with the purest integrity, giving and receiving in a way that's balanced, manifesting and creating a life that love that you that you love and deserve. It's just very positive, very easy read. I really like this, and I've been enjoying just reading it every day and kind of taking in that little vibration and kind of holding it to the day. So this has been really awesome now just to get rid of this dollar tree this is, i hope i could even post this and i hope it's not too long i can't post that would be so irritated irritating i got socks these socks are the freaking best from dollar tree i cannot get enough there's another one that has like three packs they're really thin and they have like the little line around them love them too but those were the two pack and then i found some bonnie bell stuff and i took it out of its packaging this was a bronzer i'm sure i'll find it we have more socks. I don't know how this got in there. I don't even know where this came from. Holy shit. This is my dog's dog collar from like when I first got him. Where the f what the f Okay, I don't even, wow. Like this has been missing for five years. Okay, that's just strange. Um, Hair ties, the place to buy them is Dollar Tree. I love scrunchies. I don't care if they're like eight. Look at me with my 80 scrunchies. That's the only damn thing that holds my hair. So we got these and then better half bought these. Eric got these because he uses these for his hair. I, I can't. They these rip my hair out and torture. They're like Chinese torture. No, thank you. More hair ties for me that are not a form of torture. Some scrunchies, 80s, 100%. He got some colorful ones too. He was feeling cheerful. Gotta love that man. This one, which is single for a dollar, kind of like a ripoff, but it looked nice, looked good. Sometimes these hold so good more because when you find them and you like them, you better get them because they just sell out very quickly. So I stocked up and then I got this bag. Be weird, be different, be you. Damn right. Damn right. Damn stinking freaking right. Another one that I got, let me show. I have stuff in it, but look at so cute treat yourself love it okay so got that one too and then I picked up two of the hand creams are they not so cute these are nice they smell good and again they're not like the best hand cream but they're so cute and they smell really nice so more hair ties boy we were just on a hair tie mission weren't we 
the Bonnie Bell Fiber Mascara. Could not resist. I love Bonnie Bell. I used to love their mascara. I used to buy it from Walmart for like $3. The trick was to wipe it off before you used it. And then you'd use it, like wipe it off on a tissue and then use it. You have long ass lashes. I loved it. Here's the Bonnie Bell Powder Bronzer. I just, again, I love Bonnie Bell. So if I see stuff like this, I can't resist. I've really been trying not to buy things I don't need, but... A dollar of shit I don't need. This is, uh, stuff must have fallen in this bag because here's my little egg lip balm that I got from Five Below a long time ago and never used, <laughs> never used and lost it. And apparently somehow some things were get, making their way into this bag. This is very strange. Okay, and that's it. Just some more socks and that is it. That is my random haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching 15 minutes of my craziness. I love you so much. Thank you all who stick around and comment and just love me. I love you so much more than I could ever explain. Have a good one. Bye.